everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the spiral effect in Geometry Dash. So anyways, let's get started. First we're going to create the new level spiral effect as always. So we're going to use these 3D objects right here and we're going to make two walls or two borders. So we're gonna place one here, rotate it like this and make a wall of five of these objects. Now the same on the other side, but rotated by 180 degrees. Now select the whole thing, copy paste, press this arrow, copy paste, press this arrow, until you reach a height of 20 objects. Now we're going to have a teleporter at the start move this teleporter somewhere up here because we're going to need a lot of space while making this effect and as well let's put a ship at the start and make sure that these lines contain in these between those two orange lines that are visible so there are now let's select the whole thing add the group Add them to a group and don't fade and also chain it. Now go to layer 1 and we're going to start making slopes out of these objects once again. So place one here, rotate by 45 degrees and now use these arrows right here and try to move it to the border like this. And make sure there are no visible like edges from this object. You can check it by going to layer all and check if there aren't any visible edges. There aren't, so that's good. Go back to layer one, now copy paste, move it down, move it to the right, and now we're going to press this arrow four times, one, two, three, four, and press this arrow four times, one, two, three, four. These arrows two times, and this arrow two times. Repeat the process again. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. But now we're reaching the borders, so we cannot do this process again. So we're going to copy paste it, move it like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And now we made ourselves the slope. Now copy paste move it down, copy paste, move it down, until you get five slopes. Now, move it, move this whole thing all the way down, but make sure that the slopes aren't like this. It looks ugly. Now copy, paste, move it like this, select the whole thing, move it like this, and move it, move it like this. Uh, my English is good today. Now we're going to select the whole thing, chain it, then add it to a new group, and don't fade. Now copy, paste the whole thing, and invert it. But they moved slightly to the left, so let's just use these arrows again. One, two, three. And there we go. Now add it to a new group, once again, and now we have a total of three groups, and this is the main part that you need for the spiral effect. Now go to layer 0, and now let's use the move triggers. So first of all, we're going to have the log to player X, and just apply a random time, which is gonna be 8008, and add it to a group. Same with the second group, and with the third group. Now, let's assign group 2 and I also forgot to do one thing which is move these upwards somewhere right here yeah that's gonna be good enough now let's go back to the move trigger group 2 which are these slopes right here are gonna move upwards so let's apply 999 to move Y and move time 50 seconds 
just adjust your time how fast you want the spiral effect to go, but the faster it goes, the faster it runs out. I'll explain it in a bit. Now with the third group, which are these group, which is this group of slopes, is gonna move the opposite way, downwards. So minus 999. And now, check the results. It looks like it's moving from left to right, but none of the objects are getting out. And you can do the same thing, but when you, well, change the move direction. So for example, we do about 70 here, no, actually, we don't need to do that. 70 here, negative 70 here, and move time is going to be about 4 seconds. Let's move it upwards so we can see where is the delay. Well, where the move trigger's duration actually start uh, stops. Now, here we do negative 70, and right here, positive 70. And let's put an object right here, so we can actually not just play test it, but actually play it as a level. And let's assign a time of 4 seconds. And now, check the results. Now it goes to the right downwards, but now it's like this. Wait, did I do something wrong here? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Five, four seconds. Four seconds. There we go. And also, I figured out a new thing. If you make a duration a little bit longer, or maybe just extend the amount of how many spaces the slopes will the group of slopes will move you can make it go diagonally that's uh, kind of cool these are what the results should look like it goes to the right and then it's gonna move to the left there we go but now i want to add a little bit more of an effect that this is actually a spiral rather than just something. So let's go to the gradient section and select these objects right here. Move it to the wall with these arrows right here. Uh, move it like this. There we go. Uh, now we must check where the borders are. Well, the two grounds of the ship. Let's do like this. And then copy paste inverted move it here do like this move it to the other border and this time you make these gradient objects black and as well t1 layer don't fade and add it to group one and now you should have something now it looks like a spiral really cool so that's the end of the video so thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy like and also subscribe to my channel and see you in another video bye